Oppression for any reason of anyone is a truly heinous act. In this modern era, there are still people caught in the clutches of slavery, oppression, and inhumane treatment. It is our duty to bring to light these difficult subjects so that we may be aware of their existence and together fight to end these futile practices from our societies. Hello, and welcome to Cine Shorts, a show dedicated to highlighting short films from all around the world. In today's episode, we highlight noteworthy filmmakers and films and their efforts for creating a positive change. Films are not just a form of entertainment. They can be used as a powerful tool to bring to light difficult topics that can make us empathize and become more aware of the problems in today's society. The first step to changing a problem is to become aware of it, and that's exactly what films can do. The films presented here today show us how even in today's modern society, we still hold barbaric beliefs that oppress many people around the world. Our first film takes us to the country of Italy. Filmmaker Marco Toscani produces a very touching film. Winner of the Festival Director's Choice and Best Director at the Global Short Film Festival, I Met You Tomorrow takes us in a day of a life of two women who seem to fall victims in a perplexing situation. As we dive deeper into the movie, it becomes more difficult to determine who exactly is the victim.
presa l'anno è finita adesso e devo dire che è venuta bella per andare in mare. È tutto il giorno che ti comporti ti così, pianto. smettila! Per favore, sei diversa, sei cambiata, puoi dirmi cosa ti sta succedendo? Basta! Dai Marina, Bacchere vieni via, qua, per favore. incontrata domani e domani Anna
The film we just watched does an amazing job at showing us the daily struggles of someone suffering from Alzheimer's disease. This disease does not only affect the one with the disease, but also people around them. This disease disproportionately affects women more than men. Awareness of this disease is extremely important. And although the men and women affected by this disease is on the rise, there are still many misconceptions about it. So let's take some time to learn more about this disease and support the men and women who are trying to find a cure and also the countless amount of caretakers who are the true heroes in combating this disease. Up next, after this short break, we'll take you on a journey of a little girl in a suitcase. Welcome back to Cine Shorts. The film you're about to see may resonate with what you see on the news today constantly. Whether you're in North America, Asia, or Europe, the topic of illegal immigration has become a really big problem. We seldom recognize the troubles and sacrifices immigrants have to face in order to make a better life. Suitcase is a film created by Chinese-Canadian filmmaker Philip Lung and demonstrates one little girl's journey and how her big imagination helps her as she is smuggled into Canada from China. Yeah. 才能飞到加拿大。加拿大是什么样子的呢？这个，我听说那里有很多很多可爱的动物，有松鼠、麋鹿、海狸，那里还有一座比云更高的大楼。嘿嘿嘿，别啰嗦了，再说赶不上飞
，猪干活的时候最不喜欢被打扰。像吉儿一样飞。他们还说啥？他说：“我好羡慕吉儿能去旅行啊，我还在这儿工作呢。”这箱子怪怪的，里面好像有人。嘘，别出声。猪干活的时候最不喜欢被打扰。里面有人吗？喂，有人吗？请回答。你在干嘛？我觉得这里面有人。什么？我听到有人在说话，好像是个女孩。你真的觉得会有人这么干吗？走吧，我饿了。妈妈，这为什么说我疯了？因为其他的动物都没有你坚强。他们都羡慕你那会飞的魔力，吉儿，你和他们不同的就是你有想象力，你的想象力能让你行李箱飞，即使我不在你身边，你也可以凭着想象力去创造你想要的世界。吉儿，对不起，妈妈不能再说了，妈妈得回去上班。别走啊！你就用那想象力去完成的奇幻之旅吧。对不起，别走啊！再见，记住妈妈爱你。妈妈，你一定要相信。妈妈你在干什么？别再跟那女闯你的女朋友聊天，明白不？对不起。你的东西。对不起。去补妆，这样这样没人要瞟你。
有家。妈妈，宝贝，你到了，你到了。杰儿，你的旅程还好吗？好棒啊！有一阵子我一直往下掉，接着就被几只酷酷的冰龙接住了。冰龙？真的吗？他们刚好也要去加拿大。就带我一起，冰龙们长着大獠牙，样子好可怕The suitcase gives us the opportunity to see the side of the story we never see. If we fail to help those segments of society that are in the most need, we fail humanity altogether. The world is an ever complicated place, and what we designate as refugees is evolving. By shunning those who take drastic measures to live a better life, we're giving rise to the moral leaders that continue to do illegal activities. We need to recognize the reason why people migrate and why they are taking such drastic steps. It's only then we can find a sustainable solution to this problem. Still to come is a film that shows the change a person can bring to their own life while embracing their adversities and fighting for their rights. Welcome back to Cine Shorts. Today we have seen some extremely powerful films. Our next film showcases the hypocrisy in our societies. Living Idol by up-and-coming Indian director Ramana is a story about an abusive sculptor who makes statues of goddesses, failing to recognize the divinity in his own wife. Don't 
गुड़िया गुड़िया कहा गई गुड़िया अभी तो यही थी ये देखे हाँ यहाँ छुपी है पकड़े पकड़ो 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 गुड़िया देखो चाय 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 करती रहती है चूहिया साली घर में चलाता हूँ तू नहीं राम की जनी चुपकी रहती है साली चल हाँ हाँ समझ गई अभी लाई पानी पानी चाहिए था ना आ जाओ आराम से आराम से आराम से
Every day, countless women suffer from domestic violence. This is a problem that has plagued our entire world, regardless of how developed a country is. The biggest problem in this type of situation is silence. Silence from the victim and silence from those who witness it. Now, not everyone can be as lucky as our leading lady to receive a divine intervention. But if we as a society can intervene when we see signs of domestic abuse, women can all lead a better life. We urge our viewers to be part of the change. If you see injustice happening, report it to the proper authorities. The most important thing we can realize is to teach our children very early on to respect everyone, regardless of their race, gender, or creed. We see oppression happening in our society every day, but we can work to end it and fight it for the future generations ahead. I'm Esther Arif, and we'll catch you next time on Z Cine Shorts. Until then, be the change you want to see in the world.